Hi, this is Shea with Trucks of Sales here today doing a quick review on the Eaton Fuller uh, 10 speed ultra shift plus transmission. We've done several of these videos on the 13 and 18 speed. Go through a little quicker on this one um, than we did the other ones here. And we're going to go ahead and take it for a little test drive, do a 0 to 40 um, run on it as well. So, this is a highway tractor. Um, that we have converted into a dump truck. If you can see out the window there, we took the sleeper off on this one and um, definitely a nice option here if you want a low cost automatic. These Eaton Fullers can run quite a bit less than an Allison Auto, as well as the Allison Auto being a lot more rare to find in used trucks in general. And when you do find it, it's gonna run you a decent amount of money on the resale market as well as new. So, and we're talking something like this, uh, compared to an Allison 4500, you can have savings upwards of $15,000 um, and still get an automatic transmission. Over the Eaton, uh, just 10 speed um, as well, uh, just a decent amount of savings to be had over that. And then the resale value on these Eaton Ultra Shifts is just a little bit more than a regular 10 speed. Um, so even though they cost more money new in the resale market, uh, they don't quite hold their value as well because in the past having problems with them. This particular one is a 2016 um, where these transmissions uh, the Ultra Shift Plus is rated for um, city usage, where in the past they weren't really rated for city usage. And another thing, I'm um, going to fire this thing up, that people have problems with is these transmissions require a little bit of training. You know, you're not supposed to push the gas pedal and the brake at the same time, and a few other different things. You can overheat the clutch still maneuvering on a job site or trying to go up a hill. So definitely a little bit of training um, involved with these transmissions, but still very simple. Push in the brake, put it in drive, and you're ready to go. So one of the things to notice in the difference, you can pick which gear you're starting in compared to the Allison. So on this one, we can even start in third gear. I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. and just give it a little bit of gas and it's off and moving. And when you're starting in third gear, I mean empty, that's no problem, but loaded, that's probably not something you're gonna wanna do, but um, starting off in third gear, is decent here, get to about, you know, just cruising almost 10 miles an hour before it needs to shift. Um, one of the main reasons why people don't like these transmissions is fine maneuvering on a job site. Uh, this one does have the creep mode if you know how to activate it, which is just, you know, one of the things, you know, uh, doing the 30 minutes of training can really help you out how to activate these different modes. I'll go ahead and show you that here um, at the end of the video, me just putting it in creep mode, very simple, and it can do that in reverse and forward. Um, but with this 10 speed, you don't have the really low reduction gears, so the creep mode is still creeping along at probably two or three miles an hour, not one or two miles an hour, which sometimes is could be necessary you know with a dump truck on a job site but uh, another thing is just you got to wait for it to downshift you know when you pull up to stop signs and the shifts between gears are a little more laggy compared to an Allison uh, pure automatic transmission um, but still I'm just cruising around right now and uh, it's shifting in and out of gear, no problem at all. And we're starting in third right now because I can do the zero to 40 MPH uh, test right here. I don't know if it'll go into creep mode. I think you have to be in first gear for that. Um, I don't think it'll creep in the other gears, but we'll go ahead and see what we can do right now. Zero to 40 starting in third. So go ahead, come to complete stop here and hammer down. So this is full throttle. Let's 
getting there. Still shifting the gears, eighth gear, and 40. Now I'm gonna go to kind of ahead and rapidly put on the brakes. Not too rapidly, but see it downshift. So put on the brakes decently down to 10, and now I'm pushing the gas again, and it's going right away. So still not bad uh, downshift time either on this. And it has a low range mode um, as well, which just pretty much starts you off in first gear. Uh, trying that out empty here doesn't necessarily work too well. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just put it in creep mode. Um, some of these also have a stop and start on a hill mode, but normally that's a button that would be selectable on the dash. The button right there to start and stop on a hill. So if you can see that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it back into first gear. So now for creep mode, you're just supposed to give it a little bit of gas and then let off the gas and it should be creeping. So, yep, right now it's doing it. I'm not touching the gas pedal at all. Truck's rolling on down the road. So, but you can see we're probably going right now just a little faster than walking speed. So I'd say about two miles an hour, um, maybe three. So that's pretty much the creep mode. Very simple to engage. But if you just tap the pedal, um, sometimes it won't do it. You just want to kind of get it up to speed and then it'll be in the creep mode. But anyway, there's uh, links to those videos to activate all these functions and the start and stop on a hill um, function as well. Um, straight from Eaton Fuller. So just very simple, but if you don't go through the videos, the chances of the transmission getting damaged are very high. So, and we have, you know, heard plenty of stories of people just throwing drivers behind the wheel and it blowing out different gears in the transmission and ruining the clutch, all of those different things. This is Shay with Trucks of Sales. Hey, thank you for viewing the video. Um, we got a bunch more up um, explaining just some basics on these transmissions, but this is still very easy to drive, um, no clutch pedal, anything it's just a tiny bit of training goes a long way thanks for viewing you can visit our website at www.trucksasales thank you